hard to do this by myself with this camera phone. Got it flipped around backwards. Anyway, I check my buddy out here. He is a two-year-old male green iguana, and they actually turn orange as they mature. Most of them. Anyway, his name is Fonzie. And how I came up with that name? Every time I'd get around him, I'd say, "Man, you're one cool dude." Ain't you, buddy? He loves attention like a dog. So, I kept telling him he was such a cool dude who was cooler than the Fonz, right? <laughs> so this is Fonzie. He's a pretty good sized boy. He don't look at so much in the in the video here. Let me get back. But he's he's a pretty good sized boy, and he's. Probably less than half the size he's going to be at some point. I'll turn this around to show y'all his enclosure, as they call them. Six feet tall, four feet wide, 30 inches deep. That way I can get it through pretty much any doorway. Just got real tropical plants in there, live. And he's got a water tub for swimming. They love water. And he's got, we lost some crepe myrtle trees. Uh, last year with the snowstorm we had and so I cut a bunch of the limbs off and made him some trees and a basking limb at the top under his lights so he's a pretty happy camper and it's got the little baby bamboo fencing around the inside tried to make it look as realistic and trop tropical as possible he likes it he's pretty happy there this is in my shop. This is where I keep my big animals. There's my Argentine Tegu Bubba. He's hiding in there somewhere. And then over here, that's about, that's Big Mama. She's a four-year-old female reticulated python. She's probably, I don't know, 11 feet, maybe 12. She's in a two-foot by two-foot by eight-foot cage that I built her with double sliding glass doors. And she is a... Uh, Lavender albino golden child, and you can see the, when they get big, they don't shed right, it's more like shrapnel. So, I need to take her out and soak her for a couple hours, and that'll help her shed. And up here, we have a three year old female reticulated python, she's an albino sunfire. I hope y'all can see this because I can't see the screen. And come on, you want to come out and say hi? She just had two jumbo rats yesterday, so I know she's not well, retics are always hungry, but. She's a good girl and she is beautiful. She's only three years old. She's probably between eight and nine feet long. Very humid in there. I need to, we just put new substrate in there two days ago and they have pooped everywhere. So I've got to clean all that mess out. And I have a pair of cherry head tortoises that are just big pets. And they're in this 125, 150 gallon aquarium right now. I keep them in here in the wintertime and in the summertime they go outside and they're on like a big pen where they can just be tortoises. So, But they're waiting to be fed. They come see me when I come through the door. So that's it for here in my reptile jungle room in my house. That's where I have the majority of everything. But These cages and animals are too big. I don't have room in the house. So maybe someday... What you think, Fonzie? You ain't gonna come around and say hi to the camera. Fonzie. Hey, bud. Anyway, he is really a cool animal. He loves attention and affection. He can get in no trouble. He's complete, completely vegetarian or herbivore. He likes fruit and vegetables and salads and... Anyway, I thought somebody might be interested in seeing this. So, there you go. They like to be up high. Say hi, Fonzie. You want to say hi? He's not going to say hi. All right. Later. <laughs>